What's up guys? This is the Roveman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my, no, no, my Napoleon Total War 3 Let's Play as uh, the Swedish Empire. So to pick up where we left off, uh, we were sieging the city of Hanover and the French have actually sallied to attack us. So we're going to give it a go. Uh, looks like our, we're going to have some infantry that's better than theirs. Their light infantry is a bit of a concern, but what we're going to do... Well, just deploy defensively because they looks like that general's pretty, pretty good. Uh, so that could be a bit of a problem. But nevertheless, we will defend. Just deploy in a position with our guns in the line and let them come towards us and try and wrap around the flanks where possible. That's where we have to be. Uh, our cavalry's not. Well, there's one one of our units that's kind of a mounted infantry unit, so they're not... I think they're about 60-ish strong, so they're not the best. Time to prepare. Line in Quiet, you. My line infantry, my militia gets earthworks, but nothing else, seemingly. Um, so this is what the battlefield looks like. It's not bad. I like this position. Could get a good hill, could get a good defensive position around this hill. Okay, let's put our six pounders here. Let's give them two infantry, two militia. Then I'm going to be defending and firing down into the woods, so I don't necessarily want to push into it. I think I want to stay outside it and do something like this. From a artillery perspective, we haven't got that many options. I wonder if my 12s can go up here. Yes! Long range artillery... F uh, not on the left. Okay, I might also group all my artillery on this defensive position on the left. Let's put my light infantry on the left as well to push. My dragoons can help defend this line. Well then we... Hmm. Yeah, Dragoons will go there. My first regiment of Dragoons go here. General in the centre. One or more units in... So at the very least we'll get some quite good line of sight. So we want to push... Well, don't worry, well, we don't... Push is the wrong word. I might actually put a unit of infantry here. So I can get my 12s to face that way. And provide some good fire support for my line. So with this hill, at the very least, we'll get some good visibility on where they are particularly from this unit because they'll get a good they'll get a line of sight everywhere to the left of this line which actually I wonder if yeah they're in here because you can hear them there's a line infantry unit there we go Yeah, we have artillery and they don't. That's important to remember. What are you doing? Oh, there's like a, a little feature here, I suppose. But let's set up. When we get our infantry out on the flank, we should get some reasonable information on what's happening across the front. Let's speed up time because there's no point really waiting. My 12 pounders might try and snipe their general. Because he is a good general. We would be we want to try and take him out. 
Okay, my main my main Swedish line may advance. Well, not my main line. This line may advance ahead of the trees to try to get some more information. Will you actually shoot him, though? That's the question. I'm giving you an order. No. <laughs> Classic. Okay, there's some troops on the, in the distance. Can my six pounders engage the light foot, or are they too far away? I mean, they're only 350 range, so that's. Hmm. Oh, it's raining as well. But if you go high enough, you're above the clouds. I might get my dragoons up to this high patch of high ground here to get some visibility on the right, on the left. Hello. Who are you aiming at? Okay, the 21st Regiment of Line. Yeah, fair enough. Infantry Leger. Light foot. <laughs> Misses. Another light foot. Okay, there's a significant portion advancing into the woods. So if that happens, we'll follow the left flank in around the woods. Cavalry charge is about to go off. When my troops have established contact... Well, I might actually start to do that now. Get my cavalry back to my line. Are they running? They are running. Curious to know where they're going particularly. I don't think there's any that... My light infantry's out on the left, so... It's infantry leger. Cavalry... Cavalry is winded. Let's drop a 9th Regiment. Well, let's get my cavalry behind the line. Let's see if that's what they're doing. If they're trying to chase down my hussars. So they don't tell me I've got sound issues here as well. So they might be repelled, but they won't be defeated. So let's try send my cavalry in to try and isolate. I mean, it's a light foot, but it's an infantry leger unit, so it's not exactly terrible. If I can... Okay, no, get it back. They're confident, so... Don't want to throw my cavalry against them too aggressively. Enemy hussards are still coming in. Can you isolate and destroy the fourth light foot? There's a light foot on the flank, but then they're 244 units. They're not they're not terrible. Charge with my militia to provide some support. Good, that's chased off one unit. So get my cavalry to pursue them for a bit. The light horse is still in there. They're still in this they're still in the Okay, I wonder how So 
So we've got a squadron to guard. Oh, the 21st light horse. So at least that's something a bit different. Can you blast the 21st regiment oh, with canister shot? Far. Is that my cavalry? It is. So gunfire has chased them away. There is. We always have the possibility to withdraw our line back to our light artillery. Get these men out of square. Infantry of line infantry is advancing, so let's try and advance up a unit of infantry just to provide that extra support. So those units can pivot to face off the enemy. My cavalry's come back. The infantry leger are steady, but they're very tired. So let's pivot my formation forward as well again like that. Yeah, there's a large enemy contingent in the woods now. So get my 12-pounders to focus on the... 17th. Actually, focus on the 21st, because then that will help us drive a wedge. So now you men have moved, you can engage the 4th much more conclusively. My cavalry can push up. Where's the, where is their general? Let's advance my, my cavalry up to try and... We have bayonet charges. Advance these men to be like so into the woods. Advance my line here as well. See, these are elite infant. Well, fairly elite. The line infantry. Can you guys hit them with canister shot? You can. You should have been doing that. Looks like they are trying to. They are trying to combine their forces. My cavalry to engage the tenth light foot. Charge my cavalry into their partisans to try and do some good. I think these French troops are just a bit elite for us. You men drop into square. Excellent. That's the light infantry gone. Advance up our line. Fall back our the men are fatigued, sir. line. The yeah, don't worry. Get back. You broke the partisans, that's what I wanted. Redeploy my formation closer to the artillery for that support. Aha, a regiment of partisan a regiment of militia has fallen back. So you men have to run to make up for the gap. Six pounders engage the tenth regiment with canister shot how's my cavalry doing it's winded but let's walk them towards their general because i think trying to knock out their general would do us a lot of good some hidden troops in the trees it's not ideal That partisan unit's been knocked out. Let's get our cavalry back to the line. The general's gone. Let's 
further in, pull my cavalry back. Blast that 28th regiment. You men keep blasting the 17th. I think we do have to charge into the trees. I don't really want to, but there's partisans and voltageurs in there. This unit formed square because they're still coming after us. The 28th Regiment of Foot's now wavering from the. because they've now formed against. formed a position against us. Charge my cavalry into the trees to try and knock out the partisans. See, these are veterans, so we just need to. A blast of canister shot into the back of the 28th might see them off. My militia in square will defend against the 21st light horse. Good, they've been broken, so aim at the 21st. Blowing some holes into the 27th regiment. Cavalry's gone, so get my militia back. Face specifically against the 27th. So my cavalry are confident as they're engaging a unit of voltageurs. Even advance. My men are still confident facing off the voltageurs. The partisans are routing. Okay, confident, exhausted, withdraw. You men engage the 28th Regiment with Canister. You men engage the 21st Regiment. Hey, that militia unit come back. It did come back. Keep them behind the line as a reserve for now. So I don't think there's anywhere I need to deploy them. Withdraw my cavalry. Advance. Blast the 21st Regiment of Foot. charge my cavalry into the 13th just because I need to try and break some more of their units to get a local. I want to take advantage of my superiority on the left. And I need to do that by being a bit risky with my cavalry. I know my cavalry is exhausted but so are their men. Good. My cavalry is exhausted, but I want to get them replenished and back up to strength. Killing a, getting a handful of kills on the men there. You men take position ready to try and gain back some stamina. So you men more specifically face off against the 9th. You men advance to face off against the 12th. So these men have come... Ooh, infantry de ligne. Pull this line back, see if I can entice some of their infantry to leave the cover of um, the trees. I 
team in advance. See, they're they're already already they're wavering. Let's get my general over here for support. See, they're steady again now, but I want my my men to get some. Okay, they might break. What's my militia? Get into position to engage. Should get you guys to fire along the f along the front because that might be a better direction. Good, so now we've got some options here now. So our infantry... Well, first of all, let's advance some of our men to pursue and keep those enemy uh, enemy away. Cavalry's broken that regiment of militia, but there's a unit of partisans that's come back already. So let's new men form up. I'm assuming my cavalry will be able to take out that unit there. Bring my cavalry up to charge the 26th because they're at half strength and they're already they're exhausted so we should be able to rout them. Unlimber the set of guns because we want to try and pivot, uh, locate them to deploy some more firepower into the woods. My cavalry hit the 26th. My general will get in here to help support the 10th regiment. We have a complete route on this flank. So let's adva take advantage of that and advance some of our men into this point near the trees. We're going to keep some men ready in case they respond. My cavalry is exhausted so it can only charge so fast but at least they're steady. They are shaken so I'm hoping my men can see them off. It looks like we've, we've chased away a enemy unit successfully. My general Rally his men. There we go. A regiment of militia has come back. But advance. Keep my cavalry. Be careful with my cavalry now. Pivot my guns. Now, I know I haven't been showing the. Oh, see, look at this. This is part of the issue. Is I don't know. Sometimes I really don't know what to do to make my units engage. Attack the Voltageur. Well, first of all, tra traditionally, walk them into the target, then charge them. Collectively, I think we're okay on the left. But now you men charge the charge the Voltageur at the last moment. Advance my line. Although they're exhausted, I'm not so sure about that. But then again, so are they. We're confident they are wavering. And they are broken and exhausted, which means I think they won't come back, realistically. Yeah, so some of the enemy have advanced back on the left, but the, the hope is... ...that we can surround and 
engulf the troops that are currently hiding in the woods. There's their general. That's what, who I'd really like to kill, is Mr. Jean-Baptiste Bernadotte. So now we've got the militia firing onto the, into the flank of the 27th. Advance my militia up close on the flank. Hey, they're still routing. You guys might not actually do anything. It's not a brilliant position, actually. Twenty-seventh regiment are being engaged. Yeah, limber up again. So the ninth light foot. General is going to need to do more of a more rally work. There's probably some hidden units in here somewhere, so I need to be a bit careful. There we go, we've repelled the units on the flank, because again, once they've already been broken, they're already tired, it makes them that much more susceptible to. Uh, routing anyway. Advance my guns up just a bit further forward. Potentially too far forward. Bring my cavalry back to engage the Volpageur. There we go, the ninth flight foot have routed. So you men advance. You men advance. You men might get a, actually get a shot at um, Ber Mr. Bernadotte. I'm going to assume, though, he is going to successfully flee. So let's just form up our line. Twenty seventh of a routing. Excellent. So now the noose is tightening on the remaining men inside the pocket, including their general. Local partisan units come back. The Voltager have routed after just being touched. So these grenadiers are naturally going to hold on for longer. Because I don't think they're rookies either. No, they've got two experienced chevrons, so they're really quite potent units. Mr. Bernadotte has ran into a bit of a sticky position. So this unit of infantry yeah, formed square because they were about to charge. Go get him. I need more cavalry in this army. That's what I need more than anything. Let's engage the 17th regiment inside the town, inside the trees. I think the partisans may rout just from being touched. Let's just form a line to try and box in Mr. Bernadotte. Yeah, they routed. Yeah, he's losing members of his staff. He's advancing into the square. He's hit the square. I don't think he's going to last very long there, but the tr trouble is, is he's probably going to escape. Uh, where'd my cavalry go? He's only tired, so... He will probably... He will be able to escape my... 
cavalry pursuit, although it would be nice to try and get him. The last unit standing is this unit, the 17th Regiment in the Woods. And they have fallen. No, I'm not going to catch him. Oh uh, well, successful victory. But at, at quite significant cost to my army. Um, I don't think... Well, we didn't come off of it anywhere near as badly as them. We're definitely going to maintain the siege because they've only got 300 odd men remaining. So I want to maintain the siege. Hmm. Counter offer. Let's just trade tech. I'm okay with trading technology to Britain because they are a so they're a country that I want to I want to have a certain amount of um, power to defend against the both the French Navy and also to try and attract some of the ire of the French Empire away from me. Reino de España, because we've got quite a significant war chest built up now. Well, top gallants researched. So you've got copper bottoming from the British, which is great. So you've researched top gallants and you've hopped straight on to conscription, which we don't... Well, it will be useful, but it's we're not bothered necessarily about recruiting militia. But I might just get it because it only takes two turns. There's a time where it's just, just get rid of the... Um, get rid of the... Um, easy techs. So we're building a 24 gun, 74 gun ship. Can't build any more merchantmen, which is a bit of a bummer. Maintain the siege at Hanover. We don't want to do anything else. You're pushing up to Stockholm because we're starting to build up a second army. So we're at 7,000 a turn income, which is pretty good. There's a bit of un unhappiness still here, but that should go down in time. So I think I will probably make Hanover a, um, a protectorate. So it'll be a Hanoverian army. I might keep my army in the region, but I'd, like, I'd be interested to try and create a new... Uh, a new city-state. Um, but that was quite a good... Quite a good battle to fight, because it gave us some indications on what the... <laughs> what it's like fighting against a proper army. Um, okay. I don't think there's anything else we can really do. Now uh, we can upgrade... This building in Finland... Our road building program is still going well. We're not we're not close enough to get the new roads built in our territory yet, which is a bit of a bummer, but there we are. The French Navy is engaged in the Mediterranean, which is beneficial for us. I'm afraid a Hanoverian free state may end up in us being at war with the Prussians. But I think we have to do it. I don't want to have be responsible for the region. I quite like the idea of an independent city-state emerging. So our troops are pushing back, up, back to the capital. Okay, there's nothing else we can really... I can't upgrade the merchant house now. Yes, please. 6,300, because again, I think we must have... Well, we're growing our army in Stockholm. Again, I'm, I'm tempted to try and see if we can ease off on our use of militia. Let's get a Svenska Garden unit. And a unit of Bjorn Borg Infantry. So, howitzers are handy. That's probably 
we want. Two of them and a 12 pounder, plus a unit of. I got a Dragoon Regiment, haven't we? Yeah, I got Heavy Cavalry. Hazara Regiment. Uh, it's a Mr. General for this new army. And there's uh, Jolebrand. Georg Karl von Doblin. And Kurt von Stedding. This is the most Scandinavian sounding name of the bunch. Excellent. We don't have to worry about we don't have to worry about building it up too quickly, especially as we've got two more cavalry units advancing. But let's get some guns at least. I'm happy just to siege them into oblivion. So we've constructed our Supreme Court, built our merchant house, and we've also got cobbled roads in Finland. I don't think. No, I think once we get to the, that sort of level, we're at max capacity. So that's when you start to think about how do we improve our navy. Because again, there's limits on how many of these you can build at once, or how many of these you can have at once. But then again, looking at other armies, you kind of think, well, have they got limits on how many things they can recruit? Because we don't, by the looks of it. Well, they don't, by the looks of it. To be honest, I could just maintain my... Ooh, the Batavian Republic. That's an interesting one. Capture Amsterdam and then begin a proper war against... Okay, so maybe the idea is to take Hanover. I think once we've taken Hanover, if, it's, if it becomes our territory, we can replenish it. Then maybe this army, refit, get rid of some of the militia, let's improve a couple of other units, and then land it against Amsterdam to create a front line against the French, which could go horribly wrong. But the French are prime territory for expansion, I think. One more turn till conscription is done, so let's hit enter. I could start fortifying my cities, to be honest, which wouldn't be a terrible idea. I, mean, I know I know I do need to fight against the Russians as well, to be honest. That's something I know I need I should do as Sweden. So that but then again, I don't want to declare war against Russia because I lose alliances with um Britain and Austria. So I think it's probably better to expand against to fight against the French, build my empire a bit, and then start to look at fighting against Russia. Because I don't want to be the guy that gets poo-pooed for breaking alliances. General available. Renhold Backstrom. Good stuff. But right now, this army, I suppose, they're best thought of as... Okay, I might actually start to disband two units of militia. But then again, I've got to remember, I can't... That's a silly decision, because most... I, I, there is a limit on how many infantry I can actually recruit. So I need militia. Silly decision. I forgot for a moment there. Oh yeah, our guard regiment. Can you leave Norway? You can. This is probably re re cancel recruitment of the Svenska guard. Because we've already got a grenadier, a guard unit that we're going to be using. We've built everything we can build. We researched conscription, so let's advance you to mass mobilization. Grand or oh, accuracy would be good. Lots of things would be good. But I think a mass mobilization is good to upgrade. Well, actually, I don't really need to worry about upgrading most of this stuff. Planition rate is good. Let's go for that. Because you've already got military academy so and we, we're rebuilding the army staff college in sweden stockholm so we don't necessarily have to worry about filling out some of these lower level techs there we go 74th gun frigate has been recruited yeah I'm kind i am i do want to keep 
I need to keep an eye on the fact that at some point I'm going to need to fight the Russian Navy, and I am rubbish at naval warfare, so I need to keep. I need to build that up now while I can. 80 gun, 64 gun, 84 gun, two 74s, and a 64 gun frigate. Okay, that's not bad. <laughs> the French are sallying from Hanover. Let's do it. <laughs> Could auto resolve it, but you know, I don't. There's no. There's no rush. But we're going to do the same again. Deploy a defensive line. Actually, I might even deploy more on the right flank now. Because we haven't got to max, max advantage of this raised position destroying infantry. We have to. We now have more of a. Form a big line. I should might put. Oh no, to be honest, it's such a. It is a nice position though. But if I'm going to do that, I am going to want to keep. Some infantry. On the left to support them so they're not left completely out in the cold. Group my cavalry on the right flank, general in the centre. Just maintain coverage. going to speed up time because they've got a couple of infantry units and probably some cavalry advancing through the centre. Let's get my dragoons to advance up the flank. Yeah, they're probably in here somewhere. Okay, they did. They did pop up there for a second, but they are. If they engage us, then we're gonna make good time. Oh no! I wanted to try and get ah, Mr. Bernadotte's not gonna let us get a, isn't gonna let us get away with it that easy. I won't be surprised if I lose my cavalry over it, but whatever. I like the idea of actually getting the general. My cavalry, unit, cavalry is actually fairly strong, at 96 men strong. There he is, there's the Marshal of France! Other Dragoon unit, get up here. We have killed their general, sir. Got him! To get my cavalry out of there. Good. Marshal of France has fallen. Yeah, their cavalry is not happy with us. Okay, dump you guys into a bunch of square formations. If their cavalry is pursuing us, run through the squares. The, the five fifth hussards are going to be drawn through the square formations. There we go, they've been pushed back. 21st light horse want to try and make themselves heard. Very well. This unit on the flank form themselves into squares.
Go on then, 21st Light Horse. I mean, yeah, so there is a mass to infantry, which is pretty handy. Get my gunners just to shoot at their infantry that's in the rear. I think my main problem is I don't want to get... I'm not getting as close as I should be. That's part of the reason why my troops feel like they're taking too long to kill things. That's because, it's because they are. So when I get this unit to run past the 9th, because when the 9th regiment's up and firing... Creep forward. Creep forward. I mean, it's dead easy now. <laughs> when you've got overwhelming superiority, it's not a problem. Hey, you can't just come back like that. I mean, you can't really do much else because all these guys are hunkered down. Let's advance these men down the hill just in case they try to suicide into my guns. Lost a couple of cavalry in that volley. They are right there. Yeah, you men are exhausted. Ceasefire the artillery is probably doing us more damage than good. Drop that unit. It's on the f Yeah, I was going to say, like they, they've just trotted up to the flank. Get these guys into square. Gun them off their horses. There we go. Quite sure what that is. Well, that's all about because that's my gunners for sure, but they're not. They're not limbered up. Hmm. So there's one last infantry unit left. The 28th regiment. The first regiment of militia got shot in the back a bit from this unit of infantry. Need to be careful from a crossfire perspective. Go on, militia, open up. They're doing quite well to stand up to it. And think how close we are. <laughs> Like, look, look how close we are. And all that fire is still not doing any casualties. <laughs> nothing. Still nothing. Still nothing. Now that might make a difference. Sort of, not really. God, these guys are resilient. 
Oh, someone came back as well. So after that disaster, these guys decide, ah, oh, you know what? That sounds good to us. Just speed up time on this because it's just going to be more of the same. They're exhausted. My men are only winded. They're engaging at range, so they're. It's not going to be the best engagement for them. But once my chaps have formed up, they're probably going to be quite upset at the prospect of being nearly surrounded. <laughs> These are partisans as well. Look, my guys are right there. But they're still pretty okay with it. <laughs> yeah, these guys are resilient. Like, look at that. It's one unit of partisans. Almost entirely surrounded by troops pouring musket fire onto them. And that's just militia. Okay, finally broke. <laughs> okay. Oh god, alive. Good god. Uh, we're going to liberate the Koenigreich of Hanover. Hanover. Hurrah! So I wonder if I can. Well, I, th I would imagine I can resupply my army in their territory. I think that would probably be something they can do. I can see France is on the march, though, to the south. They now have a front line with Austria. Good old Corning Rake Hanover. Need to check to make sure we're trading with them. Because I want to give them intellectual advance, the metric system. So do I rep Yes, I do. Good stuff. Okay, so Oldenburg and Hessen Kessel. Oldenburg is an independent state, so they are. They're over there trading with. Right, Hanover. Indifferent to us, but let's trade. Oldenburg would be a nice one to take. What about Hessen? Allied with Saxony and Prussia, so no, do not want to push against against Castle. So we're going to hold the bridge and replenish. That's the name of the game here. So we do earn, we do get a, yeah, we get 315 um, total from our protectorates a turn, which is quite handy because it's not something we have to worry about. Obviously, Prussia could turn around and stab us in the back, but that's part of the reason why I want to liberate Hanover, because my territory is here. So our new army in Sweden's almost ready. Got three recruitment slots left, which will be filled up with a bit more artillery. Good stuff. So we research the metric system. You've gone to trade unions, which it's probably abolition of slave. Well, we're not going to do a lot of recruitment for a while. Ooh. So, national propaganda... Well, it's quite far away, really. Uh, dialectics could be quite useful. Because it's only 
10 turns and it gets us to the next level of university but then again that makes people unhappy so we might want to tee that up with a bit of things like trade unions and abolition of slavery before we do things like that so Schleswig, Schleswig, Schleswig is still on with field ambulances to increase replenishment. That's good stuff. Apart from that, though. Ancillary gained out of him, Ludwig Schwedborg. Taxidermist. It's my experience that there's many gentlemen who would benefit from a good stuffing. Boy, oi, Savaloy. Okay. So, yeah, France, it looks like they've... Torino. They, they previously had a few of these territories... Let's hit end turn. So if they take Milan, we know they're definitely on the offensive. But really, I think I should try and build up two armies to land and fight in Russia. That's what I should be doing, but at the same time, I don't want to be at war with the Allies. The smart move, I think, is unless, unless Russia declares on me first, is to maintain that goodwill expand in Europe, build up my tax base, so if I have to turn on the Allies, I can kind of do something about it. I've got the the raw economic power, and I mean, I'm building up quite a war chest. Simply due to the result of not needing, well, not needing to, not needing slash not being able to build things. Yeah, Hanover's growing. Well, actually, actually, it's shrinking. Diplomacy. No, they're okay. We've got historical grievances, but no, we're, we're good chums. The trouble is we're very friendly with everyone else, except for, well, obviously the Kingdom of Spain is not too happy with us because they're allied with the Batavian Republic and France, and we're at war with both of those. So I think that could be our expansion um, path. West, Oldenburg, Amsterdam. That could be the way to do it. Probably would, could do with. Okay, I might actually divert you to here. We've got lots of good infantry. But I'd probably take... And in Delta Infant... Well, then again... Nah, get you back to Stockholm. Copenhagen. I can't recruit anything there anyway. Well, this arm, well, this army's done, actually. So it doesn't really matter. I can get you guys down here. Probably take a unit like... This Vavade infantry. Put them, Push them back to Copenhagen. Or actually push them back to about here. Just on the front line. Let's keep patrol. So I do want to build that to attack Oldenburg, but they've got potentially quite a big chunk of troops. Actually, what I would like from Stockholm is get one another heavy cavalry regiment to join me down here. Actually, I could do it. I could do it from that. I'm a goon. So on the recruitment menu. Actually, we've got heavy cavalry. Got mounted infantry, so what we really want is light cavalry. And that looks like it's Lata Dragonair. Dragonair, Dragony. We don't want carabiners. Let's get a light cavalry unit. So we're about 7,000 per turn still. Got a bit of time to kill before our, before our, caval our, um, our ships join the fleet. Prussia just demands a military alliance, which, yes, we will do. Previously they were asking for concessions, which I did not want to give. If I did attack the Russians, St. Petersburg is a fantastic place to do it, because you can land just off the coast. And there's Novgorod right there as well if you want to continue the expansion. They can't march through... It looks like they can't march through these trees. 
but like I said, we've got really good relations with them, so it's difficult to do it. To do it because they are allied with Austria, Britain, and now Prussia. So there's a chance they might go for us instead of them. Britain has good relations with Russia, as does Austria, as does Prussia. The only people Russia don't like are the, 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 tradition, the traditional enemies. That's the challenge. Crew another artillery unit. Good. So this army is ready to rock and roll. At our request, we've recruited the Army Staff College in Sweden, which has given us a couple of um, different units to recruit, but there is just a fundamental bottleneck in that I can't actually have that many armies in the field at once. So much so, I probably might have to lose a couple of units of infantry. Well, I've got four militia. That's quite a good amount. Because you probably are ne end up needing that amount of militia to bulk out your armies. Hmm. Consider again, gentlemen. Books, sir, the repository of wisdom. Yes, they are. But, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of Sweden. Cheers, everyone.